So, how do you like my swimming? This anime is actually funny. Like your grandpa in technology, when it comes to anime and comedy, they're a bad mix. When anime tries to be funny, you get some pockets thrown around, someone getting hit, or people getting touched weirdly. You watch a comedy section in the anime, you're not laughing, but you're thinking about calling the police. Police! And Golden Boy, you still get all that. But here, you'll actually laugh. This is Kataro Oe, a wanderer traveling around Japan and taking part-time jobs to gain life experience. The two most important things about Kentaro is that he has a thirst for knowledge and baddies. Emphasis on the baddies cause it matters a lot here. You ever seen this meme? That's basically this anime. My guy was fighting Yakuza and turned into Tarzan just to get a chance at having some cheeks. And I can't even blame him. Corpio concubines, motorcycle muses, and baby suit baddies. If it ain't obvious by now, Golden Boy is an etchy. Now I know this anime sounds like some deviant degenerate shit, but this show makes it work. Let's go back to the clip from earlier and that context. Hold up, pause. I'm about to hit this world on these motherfuckers real quick. It all starts when Kataro sees a shorty that even Dr. Umar would approve of. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Kataro sees that this baddie's a swimmer and applies for a job with her. And as you saw before, he's as good at swimming as a whale is at sunbathing. The swimmers are roasting him and saying that he should be paying for lessons instead of teaching him. He's begging, pleading for the job. And then the baddie who turns out to be the head coach comes out and tells him he's getting shit. But before she even finishes her sentence, my guy hits her with the shut up. Me and you get in that pool, in the muff, you're not beating me. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, Kentaro. Stand on business. Stand on business. Wait, hold up. We gotta zoom in on the meat real quick. Pause. Is this man having an argument mid-stiffy? Holy. You know what we call that? Besides weird as shit? That's gold. That's gold, baby. Now let me slow my roll a bit by being honest with you guys. I hate ecchi, I hate fan service, and I might be the only anime YouTuber to say, fuck hentai. I am of the personal belief that when you're watching something, blood should be flowing to one head instead of two. So with that said, why am I suggesting this perverted toilet licking anime to you? Because this shit here is funny. All jokes contain true shit. Real ass words from an overrated rapper. Let's take a second and look at the world around us. This man man names his dildos after his wrestlers, Diddy's having freak offs, and your uncle ain't taking trips to Thailand to do no damn sightseeing? Nah, he trying to bust sun down. Let's call a spade a spade and keep it a buck. Motherfuckers are horny. This is the reason this anime is funny even 30 years later. Now more than ever, people's dumb sescapades are being brought to light and made fun of. And the jokes I see in this anime are the same ones I see people making whenever I open up my timeline. We talked about the funny parts of this anime, but now let's talk numbers. Get the blackboard. It's time for a math lesson with Professor Guaz. If you got 6 episodes in your anime, you can't afford any misses or duds. A couple of misses can make you go from great to just good. And Golden Boy? We got some misses. The first episode starts spicy. Funny jokes, wacky, raunchy moments. This episode does a damn good job of setting the tone and piquing your interest. And then you hit episode two. And is that a girl in a school uniform? Oh fuck. This is the age range that got Josh Giddy fucked up. The whole high school girl playing cat and mouse games with a grown man just feels a little weird and the jokes come off as creepy instead of funny once you have the whole aspect in your head. Then you get to episode 3 and I swear on everything I heard these motherfuckers quoting R. Kelly. Her lips say no, but I'm sure her body will soon say yes. While the creep vibes aren't in this episode and there are a handful of comical moments here and there, this episode was just decent and really can't compare to the silliness in the rest of the series. With all that said though, Golden Boy was overall funny to me, and it's so short I say it's worth a try. This is one of the few animes where you need to watch the dub over the sub. The voice acting makes this show funnier and their jokes in the English version, not in the sub one. Watch it with some friends or just put it on to kill some time. But that's all for this video, uh, ayy.